this we got the Harbor Freight uh, 1200 watt uh, modified four wave inverter. There are five potential converters, uh, each of which consists of a transformer, uh, scratch bridge, uh, the, in this case they're ATR505 uh, ultra fast rectifiers, which are needed because it's operating at a probably in the neighborhood of 20,000 cycles per second to 40,000 cycles per second or something like that. A pair of uh, driver MOSFETs, uh, one for each uh, potential converter. This little thingamajig stuck to one of them is a um, a thermistor for the uh, over temperature shutdown. Each uh, MOSFET is isolated from the case by this uh, sheet of uh, most likely thermally conductive plastic of some kind. And there's also bits of uh, thermal goop. And there's also a pair of uh, ripple suppression capacitors, one on the 12 volt side, one on the 140 volt side, and a 40 ampere uh, ATC fuse for overcurrent protection. And each uh, potential converter has its own separate um, uh, 12 gauge uh, pair of feeder wires, one hot, one neutral. And over here are the uh, Hundred are the these are uh, this is the um, each bridge that actually creates the modified square wave or they are what appear to be uh, TO two four seven or some similar package uh, devices but without a um, heatsink tab so they might be super two four seven or something like that or they just turn the uh, heatsink tab off because they're held in place with this uh, little metal bar against the case and they've got these little um, silicone thermal pads, uh, thermal sleeves for um, electrical isolation. As with most MOSFETs, the tab is electrically live, as with most uh, uh, TO202, TO220, TO247, at all package devices. The MOSFET for the potential converter uh, primary uh, drivers are not in a similar manner, but they just have a little, uh, they also have this uh, a bar holding them all to the case, and that's rather typical for to see an inverter of this type. Then over here is the control electronics. In the, um, there's this device right here, which is a, uh, um, a DIP uh, 20 device. It is most likely the microcontroller, judging by the immediately adjacent uh, crystal. It is an EM78P458AP. And over here is the uh, 7805 potential regulator for it. It's got this um, really interesting and really weird logo, which you can kind of see there. It says some low-end generic Chinese parts fab. Really doesn't want to show up on camera. There, 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 you can see it now. Then over here is this little um, dip uh, 14. No, it's a DIP-16 device. It's a, uh, got two numbers on it. 06AF, no, 06AXF6K and TL494CN. Don't know what that is. Probably put it in an annotation right there or something. Then there's the little uh, warning buzzer. And front panel controls are fairly simple, just a little on-off switch, uh, running over the idiot light, uh, fan, and the two NEMA 515 receptacles. There's a little uh, trim pot right there, most likely either um, output frequency or duty cycle or something like that, I haven't really dug into this thing uh, to find out what exactly it is. One thing to note is that they're all uh, 1% tolerance resistors in this, which means that most likely these aren't, because in China, 1% uh, tolerance resistors that are off spec are available for insanely cheap, like a tenth of a cent per device or less. So, most likely they use these because most electronics like this only need 5% tolerance resistors, so they just use these and shave a 
huge amount off their uh, uh, device costs. And uh, there's some of uh, these. Uh, what are most likely uh, driver transistors of some sort. Most likely for um, either buffers for driving MOSFETs or those could be for things like the uh, idiot lights or actually that that, that goes to um, pair wires right by the microcontroller so that's probably either controlled by that transistor or it's from the uh, Microcontroller, most microcontrollers are more than capable of handling the Leatherman uh, and Dad from their uh, IOs. So that's most likely what they do because, it's, again, we don't have to buy the extra transistors. So these are probably just for buffering for the uh, MOSFETs. And there's some more transistors over here. A um, couple of uh, big power resistors down there. Those are most likely. Uh, Gate current limiting for the MOSFETs. And some more other miscellaneous passages like stuff over here, which is for driving the H bridge MOSFETs. And other than that, there's not a lot else to see because, again, it's just your fairly typical standard Chinese driver converter. One good thing about this one, though, is that it actually has grounds connected to the. Uh, the uh, receptacles are actually grounded because many of these they either have receptacles where they don't put where they don't even bother putting the contacts in like with that one or they have the tab just hanging there and it isn't electrically connected at all that just goes right over to the fan ground and it's even got a somewhat, somewhat unusual and it's got this yellow with a green stripe usually it's either green or um, green with a yellow stripe because that's some weird European color code because for some reason they wanted to have a, uh, a yellow stripe on the ground as if the ground isn't important enough, but then again, they also want a blue meat freezing stripe. Well, it's not as bad as China because their L2 hot in a three-phase 220 volt standard energy volt system is green. So, yeah. This, both the uh, hot and the nuclear for the receptacles are black, but then again with these, the, um, that isn't really um, a neutral in the normal sense because each one is either at the ground potential or it's at positive 140 volts relative to the other one. So it's not really neutral in the true sense because both are electrically live with respect to ground, so that's why often people have weird things where they where oftentimes they'll find that the ground is, or that the neutral is, uh, has a substantial potential difference from ground, and that's just because the neutral is floating. But, unlike this, fairly typical in the way they design.